some kind of a big deal. An Yves Saint Laurent flanker? I've never heard of those words put together in the same sentence. It's unbelievable. Well, let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you onto this flanker because this has never happened before in the history of Yves Saint Laurent fragrances. Listen, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. The fragrance is by Yves Saint Laurent, and it's from the Y line. What confuses me is, is that it says Y live, but it could also be interpreted as Y live, which is slightly morbid, slightly suicidal, and why my therapist needs to see me twice a week. There's a couple of things that confuse me about this fragrance just from the box alone. One, it's questioning why I'm alive, which already makes me disturbed, and it's an eau de toilette intense. So it's an EDT intense instead of it being an EDP. Fucking cares. So this suicidal fragrance, it's another flanker from the Y line. I like the original Yves Saint Laurent Y. I thought it was very youthful, but still fun and playful. The EDP version came out. That is definitely my favorite. It was just a little bit more mature. It was like mid twenties, sexy, still party animal, still clubby, but still had a nice vibe that I can wear it very versatile. I think it's just a very nice fragrance and definitely one of my favorites from that line. So I figured why not try the live? I'm not gonna call it live, we're gonna call it live because it's questioning my morality. Truth be told, once I smelled this shit from the cap, the first thing that came to my head was Paco Rabanne and Victus Aqua. It's straight up such a simple composition of YSL Y, EDT, and Paco Rabanne and Victus Aqua. There's not a lot of depth or creativity to this fragrance at all. Now, am I automatically gonna shit on it just because of that? No, because there's a lot of people who just don't give a flying fu I just literally whiff this shit in my eye. Yeah, it really smells like fucking Invictus slash Hawas mixed with Yves Saint Laurent Y. Definitely young, summertime vibes can potentially smell amazing in the hot weather, but if you have Y Invictus Aqua, this might just be another repetitive buy. Not a bad fragrance, don't get me wrong. I'm just less than impressed. Very playful, very fun, flirty, bubbly. I don't know, I'm getting a little bit of a 1 million vibe. It's fun, it's playful, but it's less than like a P. I mean, it's just not worth retail at all. I mean, what is really? I mean, it's not bad, but am I really gonna reach for this shit? I doubt it. Again, it's just less than impressive. I'm not gonna make this video super complicated on, on something it really doesn't have to be. It smells like YSLY, Invictus Aqua, and a little bit of 1 million. Eh. I think if you're gonna put a price tag on this fragrance, I would throw it at a 40 buck price tag and be perfectly comfortable. Again, it's not a bad fragrance. It doesn't smell bad. It's not off-putting. It has a sex appeal. It has a mass appealing quality. It has all those things you may want from a fragrance, but if you have the Y line already, is it a redundant buy? Eh, that's it. I'm not gonna make this shit fucking long and drawn out. I don't got the fucking energy to do it. It's just, eh. You think why live? I should be asking more like, why did you make this shit? I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. This is the biggest in the game, keeping it short, simple, to the point. Let's not complicate our lives in 2020. Shit's been rough. Let's make it more simple, like this fragrance. Smooches. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>